Hey, welcome back to Sew on Wednesday. I wanted to show you guys um, how I trace my embroidery patterns using this cool little light box I bought from, um, I think it was Michael's about four years ago. Someone had told me about it and it's been one of the best investments uh -huh. I've ever made. It didn't cost that much. I can't remember if it was $19. But anyway, um, it's a light tracer and it's LED light box. And it is so easy to trace patterns with this. And I also use, let me show you these special pins. My friend Carolyn told me about these. Actually, she bought me these. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, I don't even know how to say that name. They're by Pilot. Frixons. Well, anyway, they're erasable pins, and um, all you have to do is once you trace the pattern on the fabric, it's heat sensitive, so once you press the iron to it, the lines disappear. So I've been using these for a long time, too, a couple of years, so I love those. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you how this all works and how easy it is to transfer a pattern to fabric and I usually print my images on cardstock but you can use regular just paper too and that'll work fine so I'm going to turn this light on and my camera's going to have to adjust um, when I do it because this this box is really bright so let's turn this on and as you can see my camera did adjust to the light but isn't that little kitty cat a adorable so let me get my fabric oh just a minute I didn't completely cut that fabric hold on just a second I had just cut out a couple of pieces of fabric and I still had a little piece still hanging there attached so anyway you just get your fabric and I usually use white that's just what I prefer um, but anyway, you just center it on there. Since my picture is not centered on the paper, I'm just going to center my fabric. So I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's really clear. I can see it very, very well um, with this light box. I just love this thing. Before I got this, I was doing it. Oh, well, you won't believe how I was doing it. I was holding the paper pattern up to the window glass pressing that tape that on there and then I would hold my fabric up there and tape it on there and that's how I would <laughs> I would trace my pattern especially if it had a lot of details on it so I, I'm, I've come a long way <laughs> I'm so happy I got this box this light box by auto is it art o craft Yes, that's the name of it. So I'm sure there's other brands out there too. So anyway, I'm going to show you how quick and easy I got my little pen here um, to trace out the pattern. I usually start if um, my pattern has an eye, I start drawing the eye first or, or anything in the center. I start out in the center and I work my way out. I just start in the center and just work my way out from the center. These pins are great. They don't bleed into the fabric and they stay where you put them. And it's got a fine point on there so it's really easy to draw with it. And the fabric I buy that I love to embroidery with is Kona, K-O-N-A, cotton fabric. And it's just really easy to embroidery on. Um, I buy mine at Hobby Lobby. But you can pretty much get Kona at any store that sells fabric or even online. I was using a, a broadcloth because um, it was cheaper to do my embroidery and one day I was checking out 
at Hobby Lobby, um, having the lady at the fabric department cut me some fabric, and she was asking me what I was going to be doing with it. And I go, well, I'm going to make, I'm going to do hand embroidery with it. And she used to own her own quilt shop, and, and she's done a lot of hand embroidery, too, on top of that. And she says, honey, you need to be using Kona for that. She said, you can tell it it's a difference in the... Um, how it just sews and I go really she goes now it's going to be a little bit more expensive but it's worth it well she was right it was worth it so I went and bought my first yard of Kona and tried hand embroidery on it and I could tell the difference and I've been using it ever since and that was a couple of years ago so anyway um so yeah that's what I use Kona this little kitty cat is adorable. I just love the vintage prints, the ones from the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Um, my mama had a set of towels that had the day of the week on them, dish towels, and um, they were hand embroidery. I'm pretty sure she did it because she was always doing something with her hands. She loved to embroidery. She taught me how to embroidery when I was a little girl. We had the prettiest pillowcases that she made with beautiful birds. She loved bluebirds and she would hand embroidery bluebirds on these pillowcases and just were so lovely. So I've been embroidering ever since I was a little girl. I just have always enjoyed it. And, um, and like I said, I love the vintage. And I guess it reminds me when I was a little girl. That's why I love them so much. But anyway, every night, I normally sit down in front of the television when I've done the dishes and finished my my housework and ready to settle down and just rest a little bit. I usually have my embroidery hoop in my lap while sitting on my lazy boy chair. And that's how I wind down is embroidering. I just love it. I've made a lot of things with um, things I've embroidered in the past years. So, and this is how I do all my prints. I don't buy them already pre-printed or anything like that. And a lot of the vintage ones are not in print anymore. So, but you can buy some really cute ones. Um, I know Hobby Lobby's got them in Joann's, um, the patterns. So, anyway, but I like to transform the old-fashioned way. So, there you go. That didn't take too long. Let's turn off this light. Oh, isn't that adorable? Like I said, I'm always working on something in the evening, and... I'll be working on this pretty soon. So what I do, I double the fabric when I go to embroidery. I've got another piece and I just double it because if you don't, um, especially since this is white fabric I'm using, you can see the thread underneath. And um, so if you double it, you won't be able to see all that thread from underneath when you do make something for, um, from it. So anyway, there you go. Isn't she cute? I want to show you really quick before I let you go what I'm working on right now. Um, and it takes me about a week to do them, depending on the, the pattern. But this is what I'm working on right now at, at, the, at um, nighttime while I'm watching television. Isn't she cute? So on Wednesday, hey, got a lot of these days of the week pattern so 
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's um, video on how I do my my tracing uh, from paper to fabric. And um, so easy to do. So you can pretty much trace whatever you want and make whatever you want this way. So anyway, well, I think I may do a sew along, an embroidery sew along. I've never done a sew along before, so I'm not sure how I would do it. But I'm going to try to figure it out, and my next video will probably be um, a sew along on a vintage quilt top I saw. I saw a vintage quilt top, and it was made from several of these little kittens. It was just so adorable, and I think it dates back to 1940. So I'm going to take a picture of it and kind of copy it, and maybe I can do the sew along with that. So I'll keep you posted. All right. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.